I will show you uh, a different uh, development of quality management uh, from the principal, from Debney. Uh, there are many quality experts, but uh, uh, because of my education as well as my exposures to uh, deal with Dr. Debney from the US, even though he passed away back in 1993, but uh, the, the work uh, that he did. I, I will make you know the the, the as a key focus, but there are some other uh, quality experts here. Uh, at the same time, there will be a lot of uh, uh, team development. Again, okay, quality is not about using of technology alone. Quality is about interactions uh, from Generation X as well as baby boomers and mature generations. So typically, we have four generations. You know, when we're talking about the workforce. Um, the oldest one we call mature generations. Uh, they all retired. Like my mother, she was born 1932. Yeah, so she's 81 years old. Yeah. So mature generations, uh, somewhat retired, but still uh, very teach about history, you know, to the school children. Because again, this is more 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 realistic that having teachers talk about World War II. Okay, but then you also have maybe boomer generations. Um, and those people who were born during the Korean War, and they will retire within five to eight years. Um, you see a lot of baby boomer generation in the U.S. and Japan, especially in Japan, that uh, after World War II, but then they will retire soon. And that's why the like, Japanese economy also having aging populations, uh, which India still is not experiencing, but in many parts of the world, then aging population will be very critical you know, to the economy, to the sustainability, and also to some of the quality management practices. And then we go to the Generation Y. Uh, I think you will belong to the Generation Y. So in other words, there's uh, some characteristic of customer in which you need to understand okay, about Generation X, Generation Y, because uh, when you deal with the service provider, then uh, we, you know, we, we have different philosophy. For example, if I go to pay in the stock market, I will be more conservative than most generation Y. Okay? And, and I think this is something that uh, we, we have to recognize. Uh, so that's a lot of team building and also quality tools and methods and uh, some of the case study in which I think this book will give you a very good overview and it's easy to read. Uh, there's a lot of cases and I think this is probably much, much better to the MBA student or to to postgraduate students pursuing their uh, business degree. And then 